Hey YouTube, it's David from mtbootstrap.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to speed up your development process with use of Amet. Let's uh, do a quick test. How do you think, how much time would you need to create this uh, piece of HTML? Three minutes, perhaps five. If you're a beginner, maybe up to 10. So let's see how quickly we can recreate this with use of Amet. So we're gonna start with the basic structure and then we're gonna add some div and paragraph inside it. Let's add some span as well. And now uh, let's have some div with ID and class and some paragraph inside it. Let's add some content as well. How about few allies and uh, well, let's add some table at the end. L and done. How do you like it? It's not magic. It's just damn it. Okay, so I hope you've seen that Amet is a very powerful tool which can speed up our development. But how does it work and how to actually start using it? Um, I'm using Visual Studio Code. Uh, if you're using this as well, then Amet is built in into your, your editor. If you're using something else, uh, you will have to probably install it separately. So Amet is an extension which allows us to um, complete our code. Let's start with something uh, easy. So if you type div and then press tab button, it's gonna automatically create the opening and closing uh, tag for you. Obviously, we can use some more um, complex examples which you've seen. So here we're gonna have uh, some div with some ID, some class inside which we're gonna use class and then uh, add some content. Don't worry, we're gonna go through each and every uh, abbreviation step by step. Now I just want to show you how it works in a practice. Now talking about the invocation, what is very important, uh, if you type div and press tab, you're gonna uh, get Emmet to work. But if you type div and then press, for example, space, or enter and then come back and press tab, nothing's gonna happen. Uh, if you want to re-invoke uh, Emmet, you have to remove last character, last digit, um, and then it will start working again. So that's how you invoke. Now, what is important here, uh, we're gonna go through uh, many different um, Emmet options, but I want to uh, start with uh, tabbing. So there is this uh, Emmet shortcut A for anchor. So if you press, uh, if you type A and then press tab, you're gonna see that you have uh, the entire anchor created, and you're gonna see the cursor blinking here. So you can type your uh, target like uh, Google.com, and then if you press tab, you will jump into the text. So this is also very handy. You don't need to get uh, hands out of keyboard to, to jump into the certain element. Emmet also allows you to easily add comments. So if you type anything and then uh, your cursor is on the certain line, simply press control and slash and this will comment it out. If you want to uncomment, just do the same. It will also work for the multi-line so uh, you can easily uh, comment out a certain amount of uh, code uh, simply by selecting it and pressing this control plus uh, slash combination. Another very cool feature of Emmet uh, is multiplication. So if you want to create multiple objects, uh, let's say you will have to uh, create a few allies inside uh, some order list. You can do it like this, but there is a simple way. Uh, you can simply just multiplicate whatever element you want uh, and provide the number, press tab, and you're gonna see as many elements as you uh, as you typed. Now, uh, interesting shortcut here, if you want to shift lines, uh, just choose the line you want, keep Alt pressed and just use your arrows the up and down to shift the line. If you want to duplicate and then shift Alt and arrows will duplicate your line into certain direction. It's also very, very handy although it's not that no. Now, let's talk about the combinators. So uh, you've seen this in the demo. If you use uh, this uh, greater than combinator, you're gonna have the direct child. So we're gonna put this P inside div. If you use plus, then you're gonna have two elements next to each other. So the siblings combinator. And moving forward, uh, you can obviously combine uh, them all together. So we have div plus P uh, paragraph and inside this paragraph, we want to have spun, nothing easier, just do it like this. By the way, uh, I'm gonna submit this code uh, for you uh, so you will see uh, which uh, which code I used and what is the uh, result of it. So uh, I think it's gonna be useful for you to have it somewhere nearby if you forget something. 
if you go into this level like here uh, let me do this again our uh, our most deepest element will be the span so if we want to go a level up we can use um, the following characters to go uh, one or few levels up so in this case we will be going two levels up let's see what's the result uh so oops it's diff so uh first we did this uh, navigation with the uh unordered list and then we went two level ups and created another main and diff this is similar to use of brackets so like in the math you can use brackets so this will keep everything on the same level let's check the result and as you can see it's exactly the same okay now uh, talking about the uh, divs and uh, some attributes which we can use with it uh, I also want to mention that uh, most often but not always when you just do something like this it will create a div right so we can do div id this will create div id but, or you can just start uh, with id only and Emmet will guess that you are um willing to create diff so the same applies to uh class let me just remove this one to the class so if we specify dot and the class name it will uh, create a diff with the certain class and um we can also obviously work on other attributes like this td um, and call spawn so if you want to add uh immediately uh attributes like uh, your target you can do it with Emmet easily and you will get the uh, uh, proper anchor and we also uh, will learn how to add content to it so here we have just the tag and we need to type our content but you can also do it by using this curly braces over here so it will add this content automatically and this works obviously with any um, any uh, element not only with uh, anchor you can use it also with div paragraph and you're gonna see a few more examples in a second another very important and very useful trick is to add enumeration so if you're creating multiple elements like here we have the another list which uh, we which will have five children uh, five allies and each of it will have some content we want to enumerate them simply add the dollar sign and and this will give us this nice enumeration which is very uh, helpful when it comes to numbering your um, IDs so you can start with uh, something like this if you create multiple ID, uh, multiple elements and then uh, you want to have the unique IDs nothing simpler uh, if you want to start from zero because in JavaScript uh, arrays are zero enumerated so you can use uh, this trick so dollar at and then starting number if we start with zero we're gonna be a numbering from zero if you start with five we will have started with five so this is also very cool now I told you that mm, when you when you type something by default Emmet will uh, try to create diff there are some exceptions if you do something like this so em and then some ID inside it uh, Emmet will know that inside M we don't want to create diff we will probably want to create span so it's quite smart and uh, it will uh, guess that we want to create span let me expand this one for you so you will have this example expanded now another very useful um, Emmet uh, shortcut it's lorem if you type lorem press tab you're gonna have 30 words of lorem ipso uh, if you want less or more you can also specify the number so five will give us five words you can also multiplicate so if you multiplicate by three you'll get three times more than the uh, basic lorem uh, ipso uh, now one of my favorite use case for this one is uh, if I want to create uh, um, some content and also fill it with some text so I could see how this is going to look like in the real example. I can do it like this. So this or you already know, creating under all the uh, list. So this already you know, creating another list and five ally items inside it. And uh, with, within each of it, we want to have some content. Before we move to CSS, uh, just a few more examples uh, on inputs. So if you type input, press tab, you're gonna have your input which by default is text if you want to change the type you can use colon and then specify uh, the input type don't forget that you can combine uh, this type like here number with id and class uh, so you'll get more complex um, 
and inputs. And uh, finally, last but not the least, uh, if you never remember how to link properly CSS, just type link, press tab, and you're gonna get the proper formula. The same for scripts. If you do just a script, you're gonna get the script tag. If you want to link to the external file, type script, colon, source, and this will give you uh, a placeholder to link your script file. As far as CSS is concerned, there is also a lot to gain from using M. So instead of typing margin 10, we can just set M10 and press tab. That will give us margin um, 10 pixels. If you want to specify two margins and then uh, use dash to separate them, right? So you're going to have top and right. Uh, if you want to have negative value, then use a dash to separate and then mm, dash to set up a minus value. So negative value here. Uh, so as also you noticed, uh, probably we used P for padding. Um, so just to recap margin 10, uh, you can also use different units. So if you set M20P, obviously that's gonna give you percentage. Uh, I very often use this. So W100P, so this will give me 100 with uh, FZ10. Can you guess what it means? This will give us the font size and it's gonna give me 10 M's and obviously the same for RAMs. And uh, now, Let's move to colors. So C sharp one will give you the color black. Uh, if you do like something like A1, this will result in uh, this uh, grayish color, A1, A1, A1. So it will, it will basically triple what you just write. And if you use three digits, then it will uh, just use it as it is. Uh, then positioning. Pause will give you position relative. If you want to absolute, use pause A, pause F, as you can guess, will give you position fixed. Now, you can also uh, use directions as you want. So top, uh, left, right, and bottom. So MT10 will result in margin top 10. W100, this will give you width 100. Height 50% will give you height, set to 50%. And then again for paddings, padding with direction, margins, margin with directions, and so on, and so on. Can you guess this one? DB for display block, DIB for display inline block, and flex with DF. FF font family, if you want sans serif, just use double F, double S. FZ for font size, FWB will give you font weight, FWL will give you font weight lighter, and also very useful TAC and TAR for text align center, text align right, text align left, and so on. TT for text transform, BGC, can you guess it already? Background color, background position, and background size. Obviously there are more, I'm just showing you the most common one. Check the documentation to see all the abbreviation. C for color, TS for text shadow, BB, obviously border bottom. Uh, if you want to round it, uh, you can round your radius border with B. O, R, R. o for overflow, Z for Z index, and see you to say goodbye for the cursor pointer. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you find this useful. As I said, uh, you're gonna find the link to these files in the description down below. So here in the comments you have the abbreviation and then you will see what it does. So I strongly encourage you to play with it and try to use it uh, as much as you can because that really speed ups your development. And don't forget, to subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss more videos like this one turn notification on and uh, keep coding